Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, we're going to be talking about how to switch a receptacle and why do we do it. Today, what we're going to do, alright, now usually when I do my electrical videos, I always use electrical tools. Now, I'm going to gear this more towards the homeowner, okay? Like, uh, if you only had a certain amount of tools, so like for instance, uh, today what I'm going to be using is... Uh, I'm going to be using a regular receptacle, and I'm also going to use a pair of Leatherman Gerber pliers that you want to use, that you might have, you know, on your side or what have you. Now, if you've never seen any of my other videos, you can look right up here. I carry a Leatherman, the Leatherman Wave, and that's what we're going to use to do this with. Okay. Now, this is just, you know, I mean, you if you have a Gerber, you know, I've got the Schrade, I've got all kinds of different multi tools, but today we're going to focus on just the Leatherman Wave, guys. Stick around. Okay. So we want to make sure when we start this that we have safety always in mind. Why? Well, obvious reasons, right? You want your digits to, for as long as you can have them, okay? So when using a knife that's on this, because we're gonna use everything that's on this, okay? Screwdriver, strippers, so on and so forth. You wanna make sure that when you're using this knife that you use some kind of a glove. Now, these are cut-proof gloves, and uh, you can use leather gloves. Just make sure you, say, you don't have to, and usually I don't, but for this video I'm going to for obvious reasons. So I don't cut myself because I'm going to be showing, I don't want to talk and then slice. But anyway, okay, so let's dig into a couple reasons why you would want a switch receptacle, okay? Number one, you may have lamps that on an end table that you want to control with the switch, okay? Perfect opportunity. You don't have any overhead lights. You know, or you have switch, or you have a, uh, you have a little end table with a lamp, bam, you can control with the switch. Problem solved, right? Now, I, for years, have always said I would never want a house like that, okay? Now, I have a house like that, okay? My house, one of my uh, living rooms, um, right off the dining room, does not have any overhead lights, and we're completely okay with that. Could I add them? Absolutely. It's easy as pie. I'm not going to because, to me, that, since we have two living rooms, that is a place where we can go and relax, have one light on, have a dim, so on and so forth, okay? And yes, I could have put overhead lights, put it on dimmer, but anyway. Now, another thing you can do, and the reason why some people maybe not thought about it, but maybe they will after I say this, you can put a timing switch on that circuit. Say you're going to go for a month. So let's say that you go on vacation, okay? Or let's say you live up north, and during the winter months, you like going down south. You want your lights to come on and off so it looks like somebody's there, you know. Well, problem solved. Put you a timing switch in, a switch that's time programmed. You can control a light or all the lights in your living room or whatever you want to do with that, with that uh, switch receptacle, okay? They can automatically come on, automatically go off. Problem solved, right, guys? Okay, why else would you want a switch receptacle? You may want to put a motion occupancy sensor switch in your living room or maybe in a, who knows, pantry. I don't know. Not you wouldn't want a lamp in there, but just you may want that to control switch. Okay? You walk through there, the occupancy uh, switch sees you, turns that receptacle on, bam, you got light in there. Okay? I mean, there's all kinds of different ways to do it. Now, let's dig into how do you actually rig a receptacle up the correct way to make it so it's switched and still hot all at the same time. Okay, so if you notice on a regular, this is just a regular old 15 amp receptacle, and like I told you before, okay, this side right here is your hot, okay? That is the brass screw on your receptacle. This side is the neutral. You have the silver, and you have the brass. And if you look at the receptacle, the big side of this, you see there's two different sizes, small and big. The two different sizes, that represents hot neutral. So this will, the smaller side will be your hot, the bigger, longer side will be your neutral. Every single time, or white wire, so on and so forth. And if you look closely, hopefully I can get this into, yeah. So right here, right under my pliers, there is a tab, okay? If you look right there, that tab goes across both of these screws. That tab is easily broken off with a pair of pliers. You break it, and then you have two individual 
receptacle. You don't do anything with the neutrals. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take your pliers. These are my Leatherman Waves. Like I said, done a video on them. All you have to do is grab your little tab. So I've got a good meaty grip on it, right? And all we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're going to twist it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And eventually, voila! This little piece right here will come off and you just throw it away. And what you're left with is a gap. As you see right there, it's just a single gap, right? I mean, there's nothing there. So these two now are separated. They're not together anymore. Okay, so you have two individual receptacle pieces. Your neutral is still the same. Okay, You don't ever break your neutral. You can, but for this video, we're not. Don't break the neutral. Do not break the silver side. Only the gold side. Now let's dive on in here, and I'm going to show you how to wire this. Now, like I said, all we're using is the Leatherman Wave. Okay. Now there's many other ones. There's the Gerber. I mean, we've already went over this, so let's go ahead and dive on in here, and I'll show you how to strip with these and to wire these. Now, before I go any further, let, let me back up, okay? Nothing in the code says that you have to use Klein, Craftsman, Southwire, uh, Ideal, Greenlee, Milwaukee, so on and so forth. Nothing in the code says that. Does it say to use these? No. Are we going to use them? Yes. Do I recommend using these? Absolutely not. But, why would a homeowner want to go out and spend $50 or $60 just to have one little project, okay? I mean, honestly. Now, if you plan on doing a lot more, I would definitely recommend buying good quality tools. You know, Leatherman's are good, but it's not an electrical tool. It's a multi-tool. A multitude of stuff. Klein is specified for electrical tools, and there's a reason why, because they're damn good, okay? I'm not, you know, I'm not getting sponsored by them. Klein, I mean, if you want to hook me up, my God, I will do many videos. But, anyway, you need the right tool for the right job. This is, like I said, just for the weekend warrior who just wants to, you know, get a switch receptacle in, you know, so on and so forth. One thing I did forget to mention, you can uh, have a switch receptacle for Christmas lights outside. You want to switch, you know, when you're... Like if you had a switch inside, you want to switch them for the outdoor lights. I mean, there's a pretty good idea, right? I'm just saying. All right, let's dive on in here. Okay, so I already know what you're going to say. Wait a minute, that's a white switch and ivory receptacle. Don't you preach that that should be matched? Yes, but this is just, you know, for video purposes only. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you step by step. This is unstripped wire. Obviously, if you want to fast forward through here, if you already know how to strip wire with, with a pair of Leathermans, so be it. If you don't, then you can watch. We're going to get the knife out. Wear your gloves because this is where you could cut yourself. Definitely want to make sure your power is off every single time. I already know the power is off here. Um, you can take a little tracer and you can figure it out that way, okay? But I, obviously I'm not going to do that because I already know that it's out or off. All right, so all we're going to do is we're going to take your knife and we're going to stick it. You're not going to stick it through the wire, but you're going to just kind of score all the way down here. So I'll show you right here. Just, just score. And then it opens up like a piece of bread. So we'll do the same thing right here. So keep your hands out of the way. See how I'm doing it? My hands are out of the way. They're, up, they're above the knife, not below it, so I can cut myself. So you'll just score. And you'll just take it and you will peel it back like so. And pull it out. Take your knife, put it back in your box. And you'll just cut the excess off. Make sure all the wires, all three of them, neutral, ground, and hot, is up there. You know that's there. Just cut it off and throw it away. Right? Same thing with the... Now, for this demonstration, you have to have a piece of three wire. Because you need to make certain that one side of your receptacle, which will be whatever one you choose, is hot. We ran a piece of 12-3 to our other box. But right now, we're only going to show you one box at a time. So like I said before, you want to just kind of put your wire straight, okay, and just score it. Now, three wire is a little harder to do that because it's kind of jumbled around in there, all right? And you see, it's good. We'll just go ahead and we'll strip it out. Now, 
Make sure all your wires are there. You have a neutral, you'll have a red, you'll have a black, and then you'll have your ground. All right, and then you'll take it and you'll put it back in your box and you'll cut the excess off. And what you're left with is all these wires here. Now, what do we do with them? Well, let's find out. You want to get your grounds first because you always make your grounds, neutrals, and your hots first on everything. With the red switch or whatever, okay? And what have I told you before, guys? The power wire, this is just a rule of thumb. It ain't nothing that's code. But if you keep your power wire, the one that you want to put on your receptacle, your switch, so on and so forth, it's better, okay? Why is it better? Because that's just what I like. Take it and you'll give it a few twists. Take your Leatherman pliers, or your Gerber, or your Charade, or whatever you got, and you'll just put it like this, and then you'll twist. Twisting is important. Your uh, your wire that you want to put on your receptacle or your switch, and I know this is the one because it's shorter. All right, you'll just take it, and then you'll cut, because, so as you see, in the middle, they have a pair of light cutters, and in the bottom, they have the big wire cutters, okay? So you want to make sure that you use... On copper, it really doesn't matter too much, but anything else it would matter, okay? So we're going to use the deep cutting part of the linemans, or leathermans rather. We'll just cut it off, just put it in there, and cut it off, right? And you can save that. If you save copper, yeah, there you go. Next thing you want to do is you grab your green wire net because it has a hole in the middle, right? And what we'll do is we will slide that right on. And we'll twist it. All right. Okay, so apparently I didn't record like a lot of my videos. <laughs> what you want to do is I, I showed you how to cut these the correct length. Okay. What you want to do is you want to take your your uh, the bridge of your hand right here, stick it against your box or a wall because it'll be a sheetrock here or whatever wood, and you'll take it like this, and then you'll take and you make a fist and put your thumb out in front, so your hand will look like this. The wire sticking out right here is where you want to cut it off, and that's what I did right there. So having said all that. We, we just got this part, we cut it off, okay? And what we gotta do is we've got to, let me trim this off a little bit. We've gotta use these to strip it out because this is what we're using, right? This is the weekend warrior thing, right? I recommend strippers wholeheartedly, but since we're using these, this is what we're gonna use. All right, so all you gotta do is take what you think uh, that you wanna strip off, which is probably, what, about half of an inch? Kinda just ream it around there and comes right off, okay? So that's about what you're going to be left with, all right? Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to put them both back together, like so, right? And we're just going to, we're just going to twist them with our pliers. Because loose connections equals fires, okay? So you want to make sure that you get these twisted. Now, obviously, if you didn't have the needle nose and you had, like, the pliers part of them, like the um, Gerbers have, and Leathermans do too, but this particular one has needle nose. So you see it's twisted. You just want to cut off any excess and put your wire in it. Now this, you could use a yellow, I'm using a red because that's what I have. All right, and we'll push this back in the box. Now, you always have to be mindful what's the hot. Now obviously we know what's the hot here, but always want to be mindful what's the hot. So a good tip you don't know what the hot is and you have to go turn the receptacle back on or whatever just put your little switch on there a little curly cue so you'll know that that is your hot okay this is going to be for your switched receptacle part of it so same thing goes right here okay you have your hot your neutrals are already made up you'll have this part of your three wire whether it be 14-3 or 12-3 you'll make this your constant hot okay and this will be your switched so when I do a switch, I always put a little curly cue on it, so it's identifying what it is, okay? And in my mind, I know, okay, that's the that's the hot, or, or so on and so forth. What we're going to do is we're going to take these, put our bridge of our hand against our sheetrock or our, our box, and we're going to go ahead and cut them, okay? Now, on this, we're going to have to make a pigtail. So, let's go ahead and strip it out. You'll need an extra piece of wire. Do the same thing, twist it, strip it out, and then we're going to put all three of these together. So you have three wires together. You'll take them and you'll just twist them. All right, like so. Take another red wire nut, 
and we will twist that on there. Bada boom, bada bing. So, we'll put this and we'll put it back in our box. All right, and we know that this is the hot, this is your switch, and this is your ground. All right, that's what you're left with for your switch. Now, I'm going to be using the 15 amp switch like I showed you, the white one, you know, because it's no, not ivory because it's not going to match. Now, I watched another channel that said you don't have to ground your switch, which is a crock of crap, but why not be redundant? Ground, ground, ground. You're safe, everybody's safe, your kids are safe, your dogs are safe, your cats are safe. I don't know about cats, but anyway, you know what I'm saying. So, let's go ahead and get this ready, okay? Your ground's pretty much already squared away. But, we're going to go ahead and put a little curly cue on it. Push that to the side. This is going to be, we'll cut a little bit off, and your half inch. Actually a little bit more. All right. And we'll put a little curly cue on it. Never stab in the back, remember. You don't want to be stabbed in the back, do you? So don't stab in the back. All right, same thing. This is your switch. Now, one thing I will tell you, and I'm not sure if I said it on my last uh, switch or electrical video, um, preferably I always, 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 did I mention always? Put the hot on the bottom. There's nothing to code that says it has to be. But a good electrician always, everyone I've ever worked with always said put the hot on the bottom. That way you can identify, you know, because your lights are up. They're usually not on the floor. Your lights are always above you, so why don't I put the switch part of your receptacle on the top? That way when you pull this out next time, bloop, 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 you know that, hey, my hot's on the bottom, okay? So, what are we going to do first, guys? We are going to put the ground first. Now, time for the receptacle part. I mean, the uh, screwdriver part of this, right? So, on this one, I have the interchangeable bits. You know, the flat on one side and the Phillips on another. So, we're going to go ahead and we are going to use the Phillips. We're going to unscrew the ground and we're going to put it on. All right. And we're going to twist, twist, twist. All right. And then we're going to flip the bag over. And we're going to put our, which one on the bottom, guys? Hot. Now, there is a right way and a wrong way to put a switch on in a box. Okay. If it says O-N, that means it's right. If it says N-O, like that, it says no, don't put it in this way. All right. Or as we would say, if it says FFO, it's F and flip over. Or if you look on some of these, not this one, some of them will actually say top on the top, okay? So, or up. But this one doesn't. We just know that it is what it is. There's no neutral, so we'll just put, because both of them are kind of hot anyway, we'll put them both on here like so. Making sure that it stays good. This is a very good screwdriver, by the way. Tighten them both up, all right? And we can push them back in the box. So a little fun fact, this wall that I have right here made up, um, it probably will be dismantled here soon. I'm gonna come up with another little idea for a, a, a wall. My wife has an issue, not really an issue, but she doesn't like coming in here because if you could see around my garage, you would say, my goodness, you live in that here? But I have this wall, I have all my weights behind me, I have my trapping stuff, my hunting stuff, my guns, some of them out here, the ones I work on, uh, you know, just stuff like that. So I'm going to dismantle this wall and I'll make a smaller one, but it's still going to look big in the videos. So anyway, that's fun back. All right, there we are, right? It says off and it says on, not no. All right, let's go to the next switch. We're back to this receptacle now, and this is the receptacle part of it, okay? So, what we do with our other receptacle, right? Well, first we're gonna put the screwdriver away. Remember, we broke the tab in the middle, correct? See how it's not there anymore? No Hopefully it'll focus here sometime soon. All right, see how it's not there anymore? No so we gotta make sure. Now, if you just leave the hot always right here, because whatever you have here plugged in all the time, more than likely will always stay hot. And it's just, it's just rule of thumb for me. So 
Um, I'm not sure about the code on that, uh, but I know that um, when I make them switched, I always leave the bottom always hot, top always switched. So, let's dig into this, guys. We'll get our handy dandy knife out with our gloves on because we all want to be safe, right? Do the same thing, right? You just want to stick your knife in there and kind of score. Put your hand above where you're wanting to cut so you don't cut your fingers off. And you just... Bada boom. Oh, you want to put your knife away, right? Because we're done with it. Temporarily. Alright, you pull it out. And then you'll just take your knife back out. Now this, I'll tell you what. You could probably use your serrated edge if you have one on there. I do. So we'll just use it. Or the saw, I guess you call it. I mean, because you know, more than likely, most people's multi-tools, they don't use the saw on anything. So they talk about using it, but they don't use it. That's a whole other video. All right, so what you're left with is a black, a red, a ground, and a neutral. Or white, if you want to call it that. All right, now what do we do with this, right? First things we want to do, what do we want to make up first on this receptacle, guys? I'll give you a second. Pause it. Now respect it. The ground first. Ground is always, 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 always. Did I mention always? First. All right. So, obviously these are going to be way too long, but since you have a deep box, or I have a deep box, you can probably leave them this long. I'm not going to. Same thing. You want to put your hand here and hold your thumb out. You can cut about this much off. Okay? Because you want, I think, the code is like six inches, right? Out of your box. Am I correct, guys? Alright, so we stripped, we got those off. Let's go ahead and make our curly cues. We'll make it on the ground first. We'll go ahead and we will strip out the red. We will strip out the white. And we will strip out the black. Right? So, if we remember right, this was your switch, remember? On the top of your switch that you just hooked up. So that you always got to make sure you know and remember what you did, okay? This is your switch. So if you can't remember that, just put a little curly cue in it, right? And leave that to the end. All right. We'll go ahead and we'll put our little curls in them. Right? And we'll do this one because we're going to eventually unwind it anyway. Okay. Close our pliers up. Get our screwdriver out. Ground first, right guys? Exactly right. Alright, and we will tighten her up like so. Alright, the neutral. Ground, neutral, hot, right? Put it in there. Tighten it up. a very good screwdriver. I'm not just saying that because I like Leatherman, but or you know, whatever you may think. But I, I really do. It's very tight, very good. Anyway, all right. Now, what do we say? We like the hot on the bottom all the time, and the switched on the top, right? That's that's my own personal preference. We're gonna put the hot because these two are not joined whatsoever. I saw somebody say that if you put these two together, you're gonna have an explosion. But if they're not. If they're the same circuit, there's no way possible that's going to happen. Unless you put the neutral on that side. That's about the only way. So, that other video, I'm not going to mention his name. Seemed like a pretty knowledgeable guy for the most part. But, unless you're using two different circuits, that's the only way. Because you'll buck phases, okay? I had to say that slow because sometimes I, I say, you know, what rhymes with buck starts with F. So, but anyway, this is the same circuit. There's no possible way that would ever happen. Unless you put the neutral on the wrong side. You put the neutral on these two hot sides, that's the only time you're going to have that problem. Okay, so having said that, switch, hot. You're broke in the middle, right? They're kind of like two different circuits even though they're the same circuit, okay? So this will be your switched, and this will be your hot. Let's put it together and see if it works. All right, and there you have it. It's ready to grow. Let's plug something in here and see if we are good or if we are bad. So curious, did you like my hand gestures? Just asking. 
All right, I'm going to put this up. By the way, this always is in my pocket. I know I carry a lot of crap in my pocket. A lot of people say, gosh, you have a lot of crap in your pocket. Well, yeah, I do. So let's go ahead and plug something in and see what happens here. Okay, with the breaker on, as you can see, the light is on, right? Let's turn the breaker off and see what happens. All right, we'll turn the breaker back on. So as you can see, the breaker's back on, right? Now, as you see, this light right here is not on. Okay, so, and that's because this is the switched part of the receptacle. Okay, I'm just going to hold it. As you see, both of them are plugged in. Let me go. Yeah. Okay, so let's see if it does work. La -ya -ya. My future's bright. Ah! Okay. Right? Everything works. Alright guys, there you have it. So now you can see that you don't need all the fancy electrical tools. I recommend them wholeheartedly, guys. Believe me. I'm honest when I tell you this. It's good to get. If you're going to do something, it's good to spend the extra money to get the right equipment, okay? I mean, I'm not a drywall guy by any means, but I bought all the drywall tools. And I've only used them once. Now, I spent quite a bit of money getting, you know, the 4 inch, the 6 inch, the 8 inch, the 10 inch, 12 inch, whatever trials, plus the pan, plus the mud, you know, did I really need to do all that? Probably not. I could have probably <laughs> saved a lot of money had somebody else do it. I mean, to me, I just like getting my hands dirty and getting the job done and knowing that I'm the one who did it. Somebody else didn't have to do it, okay? And plus, I have those tools for life, you know? So if you buy the clients, if you buy, you know, the Greenlee or whatever tool you buy, brand you buy, Southwire, whatever, you know, uh, just don't buy, try to buy American, guys. That's all I can ask you. The Leatherman, 100% American. The clients I have, 100% American. I don't buy any, especially stuff that I plan on using and keeping. I try to only buy American, you know. Um, we got to support our country, guys. And um, I hope you all voted today. This video will probably be way out, uh, probably way after all the um, election. Uh, you know, this is November. I don't know when this video is going to come out. I would say probably sometime in 2019, but it's okay. And uh, so, yeah, hope you all voted. I hope this was very beneficial, and I hope you learned something. Guys, if you have any questions, okay, leave them down in the comments. Hit that bell button. I have a lot of electrical I plan on doing this upcoming year, and I hope to get more videos out. Uh, I may up my channel to two uh, a week. I'm not sure yet. Definitely one for sure. And I usually let every Sunday at 12 a.m., just so y'all do. Hit the bell button so you'll always get every update I do. You're always in the know. And if you have any, any ideas for electrical that you may want or you have any questions, please feel free to hit me up. I always answer my comments. Uh, I think it's very important interaction uh, between you and me and my channel, especially for growth and so on and so forth. But guys, if you like what you see here, like and subscribe. Gloves, the right tools, and we'll see you on the next one, guys. Have a great day. God bless.